Shabbat candles tonight. Go on over and remember as you light each candle, you use the words shamor and zachor. Shamor is to guard or protect. Zachor, we're using the word yiskor 
as in the Yisker service. Shamor is to guard, to protect. Yiskor, Zachor is to remember. And they say, if you shamor, if you guard Shabbat, you will Zachor, you will remember. And if you remember, you will guard. So as you light each of the candles, the first candle, shamor, to guard, and the second candle, zachor, to remember. Baruch atah Adonai Oh, 
understanding of the service as we use the Patsy Kaddish as a divider to lead us into the Shema Ubir Choteha, the Shema and her benedictions. But first, the Chatsi, the half Kaddish.
who brings on the evening. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad
the moment. We must get those in pain. And we need a healing, be a physical, spiritual, and emotional. So, we come to the Torah portion for this weekend, and we are going to spend this weekend uh, focused on Vayera, which is in Genesis, early Genesis, around chapter 22, and it is a portion that's going to sound vaguely familiar because it is the Akeda, it is the binding of Isaac, which we heard on Rosh Hashanah Day, chanted so beautifully by uh, Ari Adar, a member of our Ohel Moed religious school, who actually becomes a bar mitzvah this weekend. And this is one of the pinnacle stories of the, of the Torah altogether. It's so filled with importance that we do read it on Rosh Hashanah. It reminds us that God demands action. God is not interested in talk. And so he challenges Abraham to sacrifice his beloved son. And it's the binding of Isaac that proves that. What happens? Abraham is challenged to take Isaac up to the mountaintop and is within an inch of stabbing him with the ma'achelet, the knife, when God says, by sending a ram, nod, nod, wink, wink, that you have proven your, yourself, you have proven your trustworthiness and your honesty and your commitment, and I will not ask you to sacrifice your child. We do know, even though it makes us wince, that this is a story of human sacrifice. This is a story that separates us from all the people that went before us and that, in fact, we were until this moment with Abraham. We offered living things to God. We offered rams. We offered human sacrifice. And this is the moment that separates the Jewish people, the Israelites, in their commitment to their God from all of the others. So today, I am going to actually chant the entire Akeda, the story of Isaac, and you'll get to hear it again, which you did on Rosh Hashanah from the lips of a young man 
who gave it such life. It was wonderful to hear the story of the binding of Isaac from a young man. Abraham, by your love, Abraham, by your mercy, name me, by your Kachna, et pincha, et kechidcha, asher ahata et yitzchak, lech lecha el eretz hamoria, ya ha'alehu sham ola, al achat harim, asher omar elecha, by ashkem Abraham, Babo <laughs> By Yom Ashlishi, by Isa Abraham et Enav, by Yar et Hamako Mirachok, by Yomer Abraham el Nearav, Shivu Lechem Pok Nim Hachamor, Baani Bihana Ar Nelcha. Ad ko benish tachave benashuba alechem vayikach Abraham et atzei ha'olah vayasem al yitzchak beno vayikach biado et ha'eish ve'et hamachelat. Vayelchushnehem yachdav. Vayomer Yitzchak el Avraham avi. Vayomer avi. Vayomer hineni b'ni. Vayomer hinei ha'eish ha'itim. Vayasel olah. Vayomer Avraham. Elohim, yeah, by our Lord, at Vai <laughs> Kigere Elohim Ata Lo Chasavta Et Bincha Et Yechidcha Mimeni Vayisa Abraham 
et enab bayar ine ayil achar nechaz bas vach bekoinab bayelech Abraham bayikach et ayil bayalei leola malach Adonai el Abraham shenit min hashamayim Vayomer bi nishpati nirum Adonai ki yayin asher asita et hadabar hazeb velo chasachta et bincha Et yichidecha ki varech avarechecha v'harba alde et zarecha kifochtei hashamayim v'chachol asher al sefat hayam v'yivash zarecha et shahar oivav Vihit baruchu v'zar acha kogo yeha aretz eikev asher shamata b'koli v'yashav Abraham el ne'arab v'yakumu v'yelchu yachtav ve'el be'er shava Vayeshev Avraham Iv Eshava Sometime afterward God put Abraham to the test. He said to him, Abraham, and he answered, Hineni, here I am. And he said, Take your son, your favorite one, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the heights, which I will point out to you. So early next morning, Abraham saddled his ass and took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. He split the wood for the burnt offering and he set out for the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place from afar. And Abraham said to his servants, You stay here. The boy and I will go up there. We will worship, and we will return to you. Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and put it on his son Isaac. He himself took the fire stone and the knife, and the two walked off together. Then Isaac said to his father, Abraham, Father, and he answered, Yes, my son. And he said, Here are the fire stone and the wood, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering? And Abraham said, God will see to the sheep for his burnt offering, my son. And the two of them walked on together. They arrived at the place of which God had told him. Abraham built an altar there. He laid out the wood. He bound his son Isaac. He laid him on the altar on top of the wood. And Abraham picked up the knife to slay his son. Then an angel of the Lord called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. And he answered, Hineni, here I am. And he said, Do not raise your hand against the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your favored one, from me. When Abraham looked up, his eye fell upon a ram caught in the thicket by its horns. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering in place of his son. And Abraham named that site Adonai Yireh, from whence the present saying, On the mount of the Lord there is vision. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I swear the Lord declares because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your favored one. I will bestow my blessing upon you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars of heaven and the sands on the seashore, and your descendants shall seize the gates of their foes. 
All the nations of the earth shall bless themselves by your descendants, because you have obeyed my command. Abraham then returned to his servants, and they departed together for Beersheba, and Abraham stayed in Beersheba. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Natan Lanu Torat Emet Bechaye Olam Nata Bidocheinu Baruch Ata Adonai Notein HaTorah Amen And so may it be for us as well that when God calls on us our answer is simply, Hineni, here I am. May it be so for all of us. Amen. We continue now with the Alenu prayer as we open the ark doors again. As we face the word of God we praise Adonai, our God. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol l'atet k'idu l'aliyotzer k'reshit sh'lo asam k'goye ha'aratzot v'lo asam hanu k'mishpichot ha'adama sh'lo asam chelkenu k'ahem v'gor aleinu k'cho ha'monam Ba'anach nilkorim, v'mishpachatim agumorim. L'pnei melech malchei amlachim, ha'kadosh baruch hu. Sh'ahu notei shamayim v'yoset aretz, v'moshav yikaro v'ashamayim mima'al, v'shchin atuzo, v'shchin atuzo, Begone, Miromim, who Elohim, who Ain Od, and Malkin, who Epesulato, Kakatu, Fitorato, the Adata, young, the Adata, young, Bashimota, Elimadeha, Ki Adonai, who I Elohim, Bashamai. Yet Gedal, Yet Kedash, Shemay Rabbah, Ya Almah, Dibrach, Figutei, Biyamich, Malchutei, Bechari Echon, Uvyom Echon, Uvchayi Echol, Beit Yisrael, Ba'agalah, Uvizman Kari, Dibiru, Amen. Yehei Shemay Rabbah, Mebarach, Le'olam, Ulamay, Almayad, Yet Barach, Vyesh Tabach, Yet Bahar, Yet Bamam, Yet Naseh, Yet a dar, yet a lev, yet a lal, shmeid kucha, rifu, la ela, and kol birchata, vishirata, kushbechata, benechamata, da hanaran baroma, imru amen. Yehe shlama rabba bin shemai, bechayim alein gyal kol yisrael, imru amen. O se shalom bin ramah.
ויעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל אמרו אמן just before Kiddush Emotsi. The blessing.
Shabbat, counting our mitzvot one day and one at a time. May we not let a day pass where we don't add a number to it. And may we be blessed by God, by those who love us, and by those that we love. Shabbat Shalom.